You, you know, you'd mentioned uh, earlier doing doing autopsies on children. Uh, talk about the autopsies that you've done on cancer patients. Those have been really strange because when I was a student, I worked in the pathology department because of I was going into forensic pathology and started out as an autopsy tech, you know, and autopsy techs just do the cutting, dicing, slicing, sewing up, and send samples over to the pathology department. And they'll look at them under a microscope. However, when you're doing these autopsies, you're looking at the organs. And you'll get the medical record, you know, name of the patient, and cause of death, cancer. You open them up, and there's a fried liver. Cancer didn't kill him. The fried liver did from the radiation. Mm. You see cardiomyopathy. The heart muscle is almost totally dead. And you look at the medical records and you see what chemotherapy they were given. You find out one of the side effects is heart damage. Well, again, it wasn't the cancer that killed the patient. It was the heart damage. Yeah. From the chemo. From the chemo. And I saw this time after time after time, and on one occasion I made uh, an attempt to talk to the head of pathology there, and I said, well, you're not listing the real causes of death. And was told, in no uncertain terms, do you want to stay in this program? Mm. And to me, it was sort of a, I'm not sure that I do because if you aren't being honest in cause of death, how can you ever progress in medicine? Right. You can't progress unless you learn from your mistakes. If you will never admit your mistakes, you can never progress. And that's why the United States was at one time the leader in medicine in the 40s and the 50s. We've slid down to what well, we're, where we are now, and people poo-poo it. They say, oh, who, the World Health Organization ranks you 37th? Who are they? Well, we're ranked on several different levels. One of the primary levels is patient care. Iatrogenic deaths. Number three leading cause of death, by the way, last year was iatrogenic causes. Right. And cancer is taking the lead on heart disease mm -hmm. as the number one killer in the country. And so you see all the fallacies in medicine and what you don't see, and, and, this, and this is the, the, the sad part, is the truth of medicine. It's kept from the people. And so how can the people make a decision on a treatment protocol they want to follow without ever knowing facts? They're only told half of the story. They're not even told They're half. They're not even half, yeah. They're not even told half.